Bismillah, alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The concept of uh, Hadith Disciple and Hadith Disciple Channel, the Hadith Disciple Culture, Hadith Culture, Hadith Renaissance, is something that's been um, fermenting in my mind for a very long time. And I would say probably about maybe a year or two after I got good in learning Arabic, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He blessed me with a deep love and passion for the Sunnah and for its sciences. Uh, I just fell in love with everything about the, the Sunnah of the Prophet and how the scholars of Hadith graded the Hadith, classified them, spoke on the narratives, etc. So I always had a great love for it myself. I loved it, reading it, studying it. I never got tired of picking up the books of the Sunnah. And I, inshallah, hopefully I won't be in that in the future. Uh, and I always enjoyed teaching it to others and spreading it to others. Nothing like going to a new masjid, um, going to a new center, a new state, a new place, teaching the people about something of the Sunnah they didn't know about. Or clearing up uh, a, a misconception they had about Hadith that they thought they knew about. It was no joy greater than that for me. And as the years went by in my studies, I always wanted to, you know, make videos, uh, do classes, write books, make newsletters, you know, make a website specifically for Hadith. Okay, it was a time in which I had the concept of Hadith Chronicles. And inshallah, that's also going to come out. We want to make a chron Chronicles just on Hadith. All right, and things like this. Uh, maybe I'll say two and a half years ago, we started the channel on YouTube and we call it Hadith Studies. We had a few videos up, a few beneficial videos. It's nothing like how it is today. With requests and subscribers and different people. And as time went on, we changed to Hadith Disciple. And the reason behind that is, in brief, is that first and foremost, I think it sounds better. Okay? And just the concept of disciple in English. What does it mean to be a disciple of someone or something? And then, you know, I, mean, I just think it has a richer meaning than student. Okay? You govern your life by something. You adhere to something. You follow something. This person is your teacher, your mentor, your master, the person that you mimic and follow in every single aspect of your life and of your interests. You become obsessed with this thing. From what you wear to how you wear, you're a disciple of something. As the people say, disciples of Jesus. Okay? Allah mentions the Hawariyun in the Quran, the disciples of Muhammad, his Sahaba. All right? And anything else. Somebody may say street disciple or this and that. That's my teaching. That's my culture. That's my background. That's how I govern my life. That's how I survive. That's my bread. That's my blood. That's my lifeblood. So that is the whole concept of Hadith Disciple. Is that it's not just a student of Hadith, but it's a person who loves the Hadith. He has a passion for the Sunnah, for the sciences of the Sunnah. Everything that he says and does should be based off of the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu That in brief is the concept of a Hadith Disciple. And uh, anybody can be a Hadith Disciple. You, know, you don't have to be black or white or yellow or red man or woman, young or old, it's about your heart, as we said before. No student of knowledge is defined by the type of kufi that he wears, or the type of fold that you wear, or where you come from, or where you study, and what shape you know a lot. Hadith disciple is a person who governs his or her life according to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Hadith disciple, female as well. That's, yani, um, in brief, a little bit of the, uh, uh, the philosophy behind the concept of the Hadith Disciple and the Hadith Disciple School of Thought. Okay, uh, I noticed in a couple of your videos that you talked about Hadith Renaissance. Can you expound on that? Of, uh, what, what do you mean by that? Well, what we mean by Hadith Renaissance is to revive the study of the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu To shed light and to explain and to expound on what is already available in the English language and in the Arabic language. Because there's, I mean, there are tons of books that are, that are available. Many people just don't know about them. Many people haven't heard of them. Or many people may be doubtful about the author or the information in the book, etc. And they may not know about these things. But a good amount of service has been made in the English language, let alone the Arabic language, to Hadith sciences. But many people are just unaware of it. And that is the reason why we started the critical book reviews. To shed light on those books that are already present. Before we start writing books and doing things, what is already available? We don't want to recreate the will, but we want to yeah, and he awaken the people on the usage of the will and the benefit of the will and the different types of wills and how uh, yeah, and he plausible the, the will is. That the, the, the will can, can uh, yeah, and he apply to so many aspects in life. That's first and foremost. Secondly, we ourselves, we want to put forth efforts explaining, teaching, writing, making new chambers, creating new chambers of study of Hadith in English. 
for the studious Muslims, for the average nine to five layman, even for people who know Arabic and maybe students of knowledge. They send their requests and they ask for things and they're overseas and they still they ask for videos. So that's the concept of Hadith Renaissance is bringing it back, giving the Prophet Sallallahu and his Sunnah the respect that's due, the respect that, that, that is needed. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we mean by the Hadith Renaissance is reviving, rejuvenating, bringing it back to life. Okay, uh, you know, you know, as a woman say, resurrecting it. Because many of the fields of study of hadith in Arabic, let alone English, unfortunately, as if they're dead. As Imam al Dhabi Rahim Allah Ta'ala, he said, he said, Yani, where are the people of hadith? Where are the people of hadith? He said, I can I, I, I hardly see them except in a book or beneath the soil. And he was in the eighth century. This was hundreds of years ago. He said, well, Where's the people where's Adam Hadith? Let alone in Yani the 21st century. We can barely see a true hadith disciple, a true student of hadith, a long scholar of hadith, except in a book that we read or in the graveyards. So that's a brief background of the uh, whole concept of quote unquote hadith renaissance. Okay, last but not least, but I want to ask you, uh, what is the culture of an official hadith disciple? Like, what did that carry? Hmm. Very important question. Um, of course, you know, that's a whole lecture, as we always say. That's the lecture by itself. But it basically means that a person, man or woman, wishes to govern yani, his or her life according to the hadith, according to the sunnah. Not just what I believe, not just how I dress, not just where I go and who I know, but everything that I do. And it goes back to the whole term disciple, is that this is what I stick to, this is what I adhere to, my night and my day, when I travel, when I'm at home, when I'm awake, when I'm asleep, should be based off of hadith. There's a narration, um, I believe the Sufyan Natholi said, he says, in He says, if you have the ability to refrain from scratching your head, except based off of a narration, that's what you should do. If you have the ability not to move, except based off a narration, then that's what you should do. So this effort is profound. It's not the prophet, but it's a profound statement. Everything that you do should be based off of hadith sunnah. That's the whole concept of the culture of uh, a, two, a true disciple or disciple of hadith. Now, I know we run out of time. It's only five minutes. Uh, perhaps we can have another meeting uh, and expand on this more, shed some more light because it's very important. And I think it's maybe the first time we've actually made an official video on our mission statement. We spoke on this in countless videos, sp spread throughout different lectures and stuff, advices, sitting in circles. But the first time we made an actual quote unquote mission statement is probably the first. So maybe then and now we have more time in the near future. Thank you very much, Akhi uh, Jamil, for the time. Jazakum al khairan. May Allah bless all hadith disciples and disciples wherever they may be. North America, South America, Europe, continent of Africa, Asia, Australia, Canada, wherever they may be in the lost planet of the spacious earth. May you all be under the protection of Allah, the mighty and majestic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.